Now, here's the MLB Bro TV show. The best from MLBBro.com. Let's go. Welcome to the MLB Bro Show. My name is Jalen Gilkey, and I have the privilege of being your host. So, you might ask, what is the MLB Bro Show? Well, it's simple. We highlight the black and brown brothers from across the major leagues, bringing you all the highlights, the stats, and the sound bites from around the show right to your screen. We saw multiple MLB Bros take the bump on Friday across the league. Here's just a few of the matchups we were looking forward to. This Friday, we've got three MLB bros ready to put on a show for you and the entire baseball community. In Cincinnati, Hunter Green will be looking for win number two on the year as the flamethrowing righty is set to take on the Baltimore Orioles, who have one of the hottest lineups in the league so far here in 2024. Then, the San Francisco Giants are looking for a lights-out performance from one of the surprises so far this season, as Jordan Hicks looks more than comfortable in his new role as a starter. And check this out. Through six starts, Hicks has dominated his opponents, posting an ERA currently sitting at 1.59. Then, to the Bronx we go, where the Yanks are giving the ball to the Stro Show, as he looks to shut down the Detroit Tigers en route to win number three on the year. And with a three-game slate like that and some of the best black pitchers the game has to offer taking the mound, it's a great day for the sport and an even better day for our team and, of course, you at home. Now let's hear from Hunter Green himself and talk about what he thinks makes his stuff so electric. All right, Hunter, so pure domination last night or Saturday night, seven innings, only one hit, one walk uh, against the World Series champion Texas Rangers. So uh, coming into that start, what was your game plan and how'd you execute it? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great night. Um, just coming in, trying to attack, get ahead. Obviously, a great lineup, really good hitters. Um, guys know how to play the game, they're experienced. Uh, but it was fun, man. I had my team behind me. Everybody made some really good plays. And uh, body just felt good. It's a great mound to pitch on. And I uh, was glad to just get it done yesterday. All right, and, and for you, when you, are, when you are dominant like that, and it, it looked like you did what you did last night without even breaking a sweat, <laughs> What's the main thing uh, for you that helps you get that to reach that yeah. level? No, nah, no, nah, I was I was breaking a sweat. It was it was humid out here, um, but I'd say my my number one thing would probably be tempo, rhythm, feeling athletic and loose. Uh, my best game is when I'm nice and athletic and just free, and I let let my body do its thing. So now it's time to hear from First Lady Rachel Hill as she breaks down the lifelong friendship between two MLB bros plus their connection with the now Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Justin Fields. Two MLB bros and a football player. For six years, from ages 7 to 12, Will Benson and Xavion Curry played together on the Sandstone Red Sox youth baseball team southwest of Atlanta. The lifelong friends met up again as they were both players with the Cleveland Guardians in the 2022 season. A dream that both of them had when they were young was to play in the major leagues together. And they did. They both made their major league debuts two weeks apart. Curry is a pitcher and Will is an outfielder for the Reds now. At the time, right after their debuts, Benson said, we've been talking about this day forever. It's amazing, Curry said. That's honestly another blessing that I don't even know how to describe. Their youth baseball coach, Tony Douglas, had never seen one of his former players reach the majors. Now, he's seen two. Former Sandtown Red Sox teammates, no less, in the span of 14 days. The Red Sox were a rec league team that primarily played against other teams in Sandtown. For a few of those summers, the Red Sox and Field featured a defensive wizard named Justin Fields, who is currently a backup quarterback with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Another kid out of the A, Lawrence Butler, is the future and the present for the Oakland A's. Now let's go to the MLB OG Mark Gray to learn more. Uh, congratulations on making it to the show. Talk about what it's like being in the show. Uh, you know, the show is everything you can imagine it to be. You know, playing in these beautiful ballparks in front of thousands of fans. You know, staying at these nice hotels. You know, great teammates around you. You know, Hall of Fame teammates around you. So it's amazing. Talk to me about your walk, your journey to the show. Um, you, you may mention how you appreciate the amenities that go on with being up top, but talk about what it was Decline. Yeah, you know, in, in, in the in minor leagues, you know, it's a grind. You know, you playing in the middle of nowhere, it's not a lot of fans. It's complete opposite of, you know, the show, you know, but it, you know, it separates the men from the boys. You know, it really lets you know if you really want to do this for the rest of your life or not. You know, so the minor leagues is a grind, but it's also just getting you ready, you know, getting you experience for, you know, the show. So Joe Ross picked up his first win of the year for the Brewers on Friday, and our guy Martin Weiss has the full breakdown. Milwaukee Brewer right-hander Joe Ross has had right elbow surgery twice, 
but he was the one doing the cutting on Friday. He had surgical precision, only allowing one run on six hits over six innings while striking out four. It was an impressive bounce back performance, considering he had allowed 13 to earn runs in his last 15 innings pitched. Overall, Ross shined in his second longest outing of the year. The Brew Crew improved to a National League best 13-4 record on the road, but Ross ended his day with a no decision. And now it's time for another banger from the MLB Bro Show mixtape. It's not always sunshine and roses. The bros flow from the holy grail, the mind of Moses. The various strategies we use, but on the poses. Can't cherry pick when they run and now the motor. The science of the pitch don't lie in velocity. The mind behind the physical building methodology. Dave Winfield, Dave Parker, Dave Roberts. Dave Justice, dangerous D for simple destruction. Stop stealing signs, stop shooting pistols. Come and enjoy the miracle, the bro ritual. Watch Jimmy Rollins, watch Joe Forster. Derek Bell had a spot where he parked his Porsche. Remember when Joe Carter, he tore the North up. Walk off rings and things, those days was awesome. MLB bro show, so follow us. We hitting anything out the park like Bam Bam Kalia. It's not always sunshine and roses. The bro flow from the Holy Grail the mind of Moses Various strategies we use front on the poses Can't cherry pick when they running out of motor For the best coverage of the black and brown ballers from all across the league all week long Make sure you log on to MLBBro.com Or check us out on Instagram, TikTok, or IG I'm Jalen Gilkey Until next week, peace It's sponsored by MLB Bro Cause you need to know